boys today. We got the Jacksonville crew. We got George back. Hey, say hello, hey. George. Sea turf. We're he, manifesting. We're manifesting right now. Yesterday we went offshore. We did not have a great day. Uh, we tried a deep drop. There was zero tide. We didn't catch pretty much anything. At the end of the day, we pulled off one sword. Got an insta bit um, and to no avail. Today we're going to go tuna fishing and red snapper fishing. Thankfully, we have Matthew Strait right here, who What's is up? the offspring of the goat of charter fishing, Captain George Strait, <laughs> who brought me into the charter industry. So I owe his dad a whole lot. Um, Matt's also starting a charter business in Jacksonville. Yeah, so if you want to, yeah. and he has literally every single number that has ever existed in Jacksonville. So if you're a bottom fishing guy like me, you probably want to hit him up. I'll have his stuff in the description below. We also have Ben, another Jacksonville guy, Go and we are going to go offshore today. And I know we're going to catch Red Snapper. We're going to go catch Tuna as well. So whew, it can't be as bad as yesterday. So boys, we're going to get after it today and we're going to make Let's it work. It. Let's do it, boys. Plus the sun's already coming up. So yeah. Yeah, good. It'll be bright soon. So these, they're going to pick up the clients? Yes. Alrighty, boys, we just made it to our bait spot. Going to look around, try to jig up some horn bellies. Our tentative plan is, um, first of all, admitting defeat that we're not going to make it out to the rigs. Oh yeah, it is. It's, pop it's already popping in front of us. That looks good. We're not going to make it out to the rigs before all of these uh, 39 and 42, 39 foot yellowfins and 42 foot uh, premans. So uh, we're going to let them run all over the fish this morning. We're going to snapper fish on the way out to break up the run. We're going to tuna fish. Um, starting in probably the early afternoon and then uh until we're done with that and then we're gonna snap our fish in the evening we're gonna today's gonna be our late day let's see what we got looks like we're already getting them well that's the tentative game plan but before you see that here is us installing the new sea turf on our boats um yes there we go good baits here's us installing the new sea turf on uh our new boat we're finally getting the late fee name off george we installed uh george and i and matt and ben installed all the stuff on our three engine boat uh, the night before and it just looks incredible guys check this stuff out hello future joe here we are on our blackjack in our uh, workshop and george is installing uh the new pieces for this boat look at that looks good it looks very very good and what he's doing right here is something that um you guys at home can do uh, a lot of the issue with this um i guess decking industry is you have to get someone out there to digitize it but this makes it so you can get this sheet right here he's laying it out right now you can trace it send him th what you traced um he will digitize it in his workshop and then he will send you pieces or he will go travel and install them for you and uh george explain a little bit more about what this is okay so we're going to call this like a do-it-yourself kind of uh, decking so somebody that wants to save a little bit of money on uh, installation and also the travel back and forth and me getting on or somebody getting on on your boat and actually digitizing it this is an option for you or people that just they don't want a lot but i'm just going to highlight this forward casting deck on this blackjack and joe will tell you exactly how long it took me to just create a mylar template so this is clear plastic mylar. Get it from Amazon. Joe, if you want to hit this up. Mm -hmm. Here's the materials that you'll need to do this. There's the, the Duralar that I bought. Some tape, a pair of scissors. I like electric scissors. If you have them, they're not necessary. It just helps a little bit. Magic marker. And we'll go through the process of how I lay it out and just trace all of the non-skid, all of the hatches and label it. You can roll it up, put it in the mail, mail it to me, and then I'll professionally digitize it and professionally machine your decking, mail it back to you. So it's a DIY, but you're having a professional machine it, opposed to you can order stuff and you can cut it yourself with a razor knife, and it looks okay, but it's certainly not professional. So this is another option. And also that's a good way to save a lot of money, and obviously you see custom logos, whatever you want, uh, whatever colors you want, he's got a gigantic selection of uh textures colors um thickness it's i mean you, if you need it he's got it and this is a definitely a good way to get a premium product at a uh discounted price so as he said i'm i started a timer already i started i started a timer already just to see how long it takes so we'll get to you guys in a little bit when he's done
Alrighty, so we did a timer. It took him 20 minutes. He obviously knows how to lay everything out and how to do everything. So realistically, probably we'll say 50% more time for a first time person, so 30 minutes, which really isn't that bad. But go ahead and explain what you did here, George. And guys, this isn't much. This is uh, maybe at most 35, 30 square feet of decking that would need that would be needed for the, um, the bow or the casting platform of this boat. And you can see, I didn't, I didn't, my lines aren't perfect and that's okay. And all I'm trying to do is trace the existing non-skid on the boat. And I need to mark all of the hatches. And when a, when a hatch is marked, I exit out and, or the customer needs to exit out. So I know that that's cut out. That's, that's gonna be a hole in the decking. It's really simple, guys. I essentially just laid out clear plastic mylar. I taped it from underneath first and um, <clears throat> cut it cut it to fit a little better and I can walk on it and I can walk through here and trace. Mm -hmm. Now I've had, to, I've had to seam pieces of mylar together. So this is very important. When pieces of mylar are seamed and I have tape lines here, you're gonna roll this up and ship it to me. So in order, if it for some reason comes apart on these seams, if you put three lines perpendicular on some of these seams, if they were to come apart, I can piece them back together in the shop and know exactly how they lay. Easy peasy. Once you create your Mylar template, a few things that I need. I need the boat name or the boat type of boat, your name, I need your email, and also you're going to send a video, everybody's got iPhones or, or some type of phone with a camera capability, you're gonna send a video to seaturfusa at gmail.com and the colors that you wanted. Um, and you can look on the website or on um, Instagram or call me, email me, I got all kinds of colors. This is some of the basic information. I need to know orientation, which way is the bow. If I know the bow, I know what starboard is, but again, just give me a right angle, give me where the bow is, give me where the right side of the boat is. This just helps me machine things a lot faster. Mm -hmm. And the least amount of time it takes me, better value for the customer. That's pretty much it, guys. This took me 20 minutes. Very carefully, I'm gonna roll, I could roll it all up, I could stick it in a tube and FedEx it. And um, from there, now I can digitize, and Joe has a video of me digitizing the Freeman. And I can digitize this, professionally machine this decking and mail it to you. And you can do the install yourself and we'll show you how to do install. Very easy, it's a big sticker. Mm -hmm, pretty much. And we're also, if you already have some decking that you want to get replaced, we're going to also show you how to uninstall decking. It's a pretty easy process. It takes a little bit of elbow grease and some acetone. That's pretty much it. And um, a plastic scraper. But we are going to roll this up and uh, we're going to go ahead to the other boat and uninstall and reinstall. Show you guys how that goes. Alrighty. Finally getting rid of all the late fee stuff on here. So. We kind of did this on the other boat the other night. Um, pretty much what you do, get a scraper, start peeling it up, spray acetone. It uh, it uh, uh, unbonds the glue and you can peel it up. It's a lot easier if you have somebody else, one person to peel, one person to spray. And then eventually, once you get it enough into here, you can cut slits into this and just pull it all the way up. But it's a pretty simple process. It just takes a little bit of forearm strength. We're, we're thinking, and then if you don't have forearm strength, um, like Joe, he's got the medium yeah. forearms. Uh, pair of channel locks can sometimes help. With the thicker stuff, it'll hold together much better. Um, the thinner stuff, it'll want to tear. We're going to start here at this corner and start working. And Joe's well, going to Actually, I think this lip is coming up already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. It looks like somebody tried to re-glue it or re-bond it. Something. <laughs> but yeah, let's, uh, you want to start, let's start here. We can't, well, it starts right, it's right. coming out right here, too. <laughs> yeah. And allow it to break loose a little bit. There you go. The late fee is no longer. No mo. Well, kind of. Halfway. I'm keeping even pressure on it, and the, as he's spraying, that's breaking the bond. It's not for me pulling, I'm just keeping nice, easy tension on it. Sweet. 
All right, we're gonna work on cleaning this up a little bit, and then we'll show you the installation process, which is super easy. Super duper easy. Like I said, we did the entire boat uninstall, reinstall in like 20 minutes the other night. So uh, we did both of these. We did um, the helm pad. We did a kick pad. We did the new uh, mat. And we did the drink cooler toppers. And it took us like 20, maybe 30 minutes to do it. So like I said, pretty damn easy process. Pretty easy to do yourself. All right, so these things are essentially a big sticker. Sorry, I'm squinting. I forgot my waterline glasses at their camp. Uh, we're about to go fishing again after this, but you center it and then you tape it up to keep it into place. And it's essentially like a peelable sticker. So he's used a razor blade to slice the uh, paper covering. And we wanna be sure to do the adherence from the center out, trying as hard as we can to not trap any air. So I'm just giving it just a, I'm really just exposing a little bit of the adhesive. And ideally we wanna do this in the shade. Um, you know, we're in Venice, Louisiana, and this is where the boat lives right now. So we're just gonna have to make do with what we got. And the reason we, we ideally wanna do it in the shade is the material will wanna stretch and that can sometimes create air bubbles as it cools. So we're just going, very, very slow, working from the center out. Trying to touch the adhesive as very little as possible with, uh, with my hands. And now on all of these, no matter what manufacturer you end up using, it's what's called a pressure sensitive adhesive and um, it responds to to putting more say point pressure on it for, for adherence so this is a vertical surface it's not going to be walked on um, so you're not going to get a bunch of foot traffic which actually helps the adherence properties of it but you don't have to worry about a piece like this if you're doing anything for logos so anybody out there charter boat captains if you want some logo stuff this is a good way to uh, show off your business and all the thing we've done is we've stuck it from the center down I, we taped it in place now I can tape the tape off and it's still gonna hold it's now on this piece guys because there is adhesive here and this adhesive is old and it's not great so it's not ideally I would want to clean this completely for best adherence as possible. Being this is on a vertical surface, I'm not worried about this ever coming loose. And also I've made a piece bigger where I have a two inch margin all the way around. So it's going to seal around this. And the only way this is coming off is through a lot of elbow grease. Mm -hmm. guys just like that now one of the one of the nice things about professionally machining is um, I beveled these edges down a little bit which creates a really tight lip and I can go around and now I've sealed off this entire panel all right the camera shut off because it was too hot I just got out of the AC he was essentially saying that this machined edge is like a super super tight seal it just makes it even adhere better right now we're prepping the top of the coffin box to finish our job all right, just kidding. We're gonna, it's too hot. We're gonna scrape this stuff off and we just wanted to have a good seal. So we're gonna do it uh, this evening or tomorrow evening. So uh, we get the best results. So we're gonna go fishing again. Woohoo! All right. Yeah, it is. All right, drop it on the first box of the snapples. We're gonna see how we do. It's working pretty good. Let's we'll see how we do it. And just like that, folks, you got them off. You got them off. It ain't got much size to it. Here, we might have to look in the measure. This might be a scam. Might be a snapper. This might be a scam. Skazam? 
Maybe, I don't know. Okay, hey, bucking. Oh, there we uh, Just a, a devil choking on the bait. Yep, that's a keeper. Absolutely. Nice. All right. All right. That's a start. That's a... Yeah, boy. Oh, okay. yeah, Matt. Matt's on again. Oh, I got one. It's a small one on the electric reel. On the top of that. All oh, up yeah. in you? Just came off. It did? Yeah. Still got yours? Mine's gone. Damn it. Oh, get him, George. Everyone's getting bit. On the Johnny jig, boy. Woo. He acted like he was a, oh, heck yeah, it'll work. He's barely hooked. Barely, barely hooked. Barely hooked. We got him. Johnny jigs, boy. How's it going? Heading the right direction. Nicely done, sir. Nicely done. Nicely done. Thank you, sir. May I have another? That's about the size of the bite. Yeah. Get him, Ben. That's a good one, boy. Yeah, y'all. It puts the meat in the box. Ooh. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. Nice. Fish biting. Get him, George. Oh, yeah, George. Oh, tripled, boys. On the jig. Tripled. Come on, Dill. Jiggly. Oh, 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 don't do that. Don't do that. Jack. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> he strips some line out. Yeah. Going the wrong way. Shark. Oh, oh, you... Damn it. Self that works. Having fun yet, George? I'm having fun. Oh, a nice one. He was heading the water, sir. Oh, yeah. Nice. Nicely done, sir. Johnny Jigs does it again. In the box. Oh, oh, hey, hey, hey. Hey, relax. Next drift. Put a freaking, I don't know, maybe... We need to catch some bycatch or something. I want you to put a giant bait down there. Yeah, double. Double the wrong size. This one's legal. 20 inches. I ain't saying no to a fish today, boy. Not after yesterday. Nope, not after yesterday. Yeah, George. Oh my God, they're smoking the jigs. You know what I'm doing? What? Thunder, thunder bumping? They do love the thunder bump. Yep. All right, Matt. Yeah. Oh my God. I might have to put a jig on. Sheesh. I think I'm going to put a jig on. Oh yeah. Heck yeah, George. They're going, George. They're going. Oh, he's on again. Yeah, boy. Oh, no. uh, baby. Just a baby. Or had two on. Yeah, you may have had two on, actually. Go, oh, Matt. I'm, I'm getting bit. They're chewing, son. They're not red devils right now. They get to die today. They ain't red devils today, boy. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's a beauty. Red snappers. Red snappers. In the Louisiana bayous. Uh oh. He's pulling drag. I got a better fish on now. Oh yeah. Keep doing what you're doing, boy. Yeah. I'm on cruise control, baby. Cruise control. <laughs> I got the leg out. Yeah. Oh, I know when that leg goes up that we're real deal. I got a couple of them on, I think. Yeah! Baby! I'll take that. I will take that all day, son. I'll take that. Yes, sir. Hey, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, baby. Yeah, baby. Yeah, that's, that's what you need. That's what we need. need more of that in my life. The best part about that stupid fish is he's going right there. Right there, <laughs> what? Woo! 
They ain't red devils today, boy. No, they're not. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, boy. Oh, they're slap chewing. Aw. Oh. Oh, I lost one. That's a better fish, though. What? <coughs> Oops, that was a terrible gap shot. Oh, well. Nice. Get him, Ben. Woo! Come off. They're aggressive. That thing, so, you. Once they feel the hooks, then they're pissed, and then they get up. Nah. That th you've gotten like three to one bites on, on that compared to us. Pretty crazy. I'm waiting for you to catch a scamp. I will. Mm -hmm. Nice. You got him? Get him, Ben. That's a good fish right there, boy. That's the grade we need, Ben. One, two, three. This is eight right here. Okay. Dude. Scoping up. Big shark. Oh, I'm kidding. No big shark. It's nice. a big red one. Fatty. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. He's a fatty. Right. I'm annoying. All right. Get him. Oh, yeah. That's a good one. Maybe not. <laughs> I know why I gave up. Oh, yeah. That would explain that. Now I know why mine gave up. Nice. I'm going in this box. I'm off here. the box door for you. Yep. Yeah. Oh. Ah, come on. Alright. It felt like it for a minute, but unless the shark's just hanging on to it, which is kind of what it looks like. Yeah. And he just let it go. Oh yeah, he's on it. <laughs> Oh god, that's a stud. You see his tail right there? Yep, move? big mean one. Get him, George! Better fish. Woo! Oh, don't let him rock his hut. Turn him. Oh, he's turned. Oh yeah, oh, yeah George. That's a nice fish. It is a nice fish. Oh yeah, son. Keep on coming. Yeah. Yeah, Ben. Come on. Uh, what do I got? Decent one. There you go. I'll take him. Yeah. <laughs> There's no way. Because he gave up. Uh, yeah. Well, we can get a bigger one. This yeah. Is, this is a snap hole. This might be a leader in the clubhouse. Oh, 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 oh. I bet I have a shark now. <laughs> What do I got? Come here, shark. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at this double. Oh, golly. Oh, yeah, baby. That's a good one to finish it on, baby. Yeah. There's number 12, baby. That's 12. With a, with a face full of a Johnny J. Oh, yeah. Cool. I was pulling him sideways. That's why. There's number 12. That's a good one to finish it on, boys. Put them up. A couple little ones in there. Yeah, yeah. boy. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. That's what it's about, boy. Snap and slap. Plan B going. We're, uh, we're on our way in. We stopped to uh, just mess around that rig. And we're having fun catching black fins. And Joe, what was that last thing we just caught, brother? Rainbow brother? runner. We got rainbow runner. So we're getting some sushi for tonight. Oh. And, uh, we're making we're making real good use. So what kind of jigs are those, Bubba? Johnny jigs, baby. I mean, there's this isn't micro jigs. This isn't a promo or anything. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but pretty much everything we've caught today has been on Johnny jigs. And uh, so we're having fun. We're having fun with these little footballs, little baby little baby black fins. Oh, shark. No. There we go. Boat flip. Boat flip. Like it's like bass. Oh, that wasn't a Joey. Hey. All right, it's been a long day. We went tuna fishing for a while. We had one drift where we marked a lot of fish, but uh, 
we sucked. There's only one fish hooked. Well, there's two fish that were on the entire time that we were uh, tuna fishing. But we are deep dropping on the way in. We actually have tide today. We didn't have tide yesterday. And uh, we are on, first drop. So we gotta see if it makes it to the surface. It's an improvement. That's all I can say <laughs> from yesterday. Yesterday was abysmal. This isn't, this is better. Mad fish. Oh yeah, mad boy. Mad fish. Come on, big boy, come on up here. Oh, it's a good fish. It is a good fish. It's a good fish. Come on up here, big boy. I thought I wasn't crazy. Matt looked away for one second. The I second did. he, the I second did. he looked away, oh. I saw just a little. To, it's like, man, you got a bite. I was like, really? I just looked away. It, ten seconds later. It's too pretty out here. It's hard not to look at the horizon, you know. <laughs> yeah, we can. Go tip to tip, boys. Go tip to tip. Just like usual. Uh, do I need to? Yeah, hold on, hold on. Go a little bit more. Yeah, see where, let's you see are. where this thing's at. Yeah. Hold on, get, you have to get lines I'm, right I'm, together. I'm still right on the bottom, though. Perfect. Yeah, I know. It, you just. Do I get? Do I need to go in or out? Or I don't what? know. You got to get closer to him to see. Come up tall. Just start reeling. Okay, you're over top. Yeah, there you go. Damn. Swap. Chinese fire drill. Oh, we have a floater. Look at the bubbles. Big yellow! Yes! 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 Yeah! 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 Yeah!
Joe's got a nice shark on right now. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. <laughs> yeah, I wanted to catch him on a jig now. Yeah, I wanted I've to done it on live on bait. I've done it on dead bait. <laughs> Spinners. Convention or conventionals. Now I want it on a spinner and a jig. And lighter line. 30-40. Get him, Jeff. Get him, Jeff. Oh, God, I hate spin reels. Yeah, sure. Nice snap, Jeff. Yeah. Nice snap. Woo! Uh, oh, he's, okay. he's double hooked real nice good. Nice fish. Dude, good the, one. Good the, one. the jigs just absolutely wreck me. That boy, Matt. The live bait does too, apparently, or the dead bait. The cut look downs. Look down. Who knew? Who knew? Who knew? We do now. We do now. You better believe it. <laughs> Woo! Good grade. Good grade. Big lift. You got him. <laughs> yep, 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 yep. That a boy, Matthew. Oh, God. He thunder whacked yes. it. Yeah, boy. Get him, Joe. Get him, Joe. Yeah, boy. You're probably. I was hoping so. Dusky Joe. Dusky Joe. I actually haven't caught a dusky yet. Oh, he came oh, off. No. That was no snow. Nice. Get him, Joe. Dude, they're crushing the jigs. Dude, this is the jigging area. I need to bring Johnny here. Oh, it's a good one. Don't you do it. Woo! No. He's going to the bottom. Might be a scam. Oh, he's fighting too hard for that. Yeah. The scheme Come on, just... Oh, uh, sure, probably that. No. I'm gonna do this the easiest way possible. No. I'm out down, down. Straight down. We're all in this together. It's a stud. Oh, there we go. Hey. Got my line. Yeah. Oh. Nice. For any of you that are wondering what jig I'm using, I don't think it matters. We, we were using the same like striped, the uh, red and brown one yesterday, or red and orange, whatever you want to call it. But I think it's a striped jig, and this shape is definitely the real deal. This is a. Uh, there's a reason I'm with Johnny Jigs. I can say that about every product that I'm with. Uh, it's because it is the best. And you can see, we've been crushing the damn fish on these jigs, it's awesome. So that's it right there, 150 gram. Ren, you're turning red. Don't overstrain. Freeze. <laughs> oh, he oh, eat me on the drop. Oh, oh. Better fish. Get him, Joe. Get him, Joe. No, no. Get you. Get, you. get him, get Matt. Out. Triple. Get that triple. Oh, he got eaten. <laughs> Triple's gone. Oh, double, double. <laughs> triple. He got eaten. Double. What happened, Joe? Hold on. I got to eat my shark. Oh. Oh, but he's back. Triple. 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 <laughs> Uno, dos, tres. That's right. <laughs> Don't do it, sharks. Oh, it hurts. I don't like spinning reels. Hurts so good. No. Red snapper. Snapper hands. Snapper in the hole. Oh, baby. A oh, baby. It's a good one. Baby. It's a keeper, I believe. Uh oh. Uh oh. What do we got? Oh, I thought you had a halfie. You got a halfie? No, he doesn't. He doesn't. Big fish. Oh, I foul hooked the other one. You can see the scale on the dang hook. Look at that. That's the color we're looking at. We're set on red. Heck yeah. 
Yo, golly! Some weight behind on that one. Fish there, maybe? He was just angry. Yeah. <laughs> He ain't huge, he was just angry. <laughs> he hit it like an ode of money. <laughs> oh, nice one, Chew. Oh, snap ahead. A mean one. Oh, three mo, three mo. And after all, Ben's on, on again. That's the one, that's a good one, come on. Come on, triple up, and we're going to take it to the house. You yep, on. Yep, yep. Double, ooh, oh, Matthew. Oh, 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 come on, come on, Joey. Well, I wanna, uh, I'm in you're, trouble. You're in the zone. A lot harder than that. <laughs> yeah, he was mean. God, he was mean. Two mile. In the basket. In the basket. Nice. Load in. Nice. Oh, yeah, got pop. Blow out. That's a good one. That's a good one. One more. One more. Nice. Nice. Solid fish there. Solid fish. Alrighty, boys, this might be it. If Ben doesn't pull this one off, it's not a huge one. But it's number 12, and that's the most important thing. That is the most important thing. That's a dead one. They ain't red devils today, boys. That's actually the well. Get him, Ben. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, hey, it's a dead one. It's a red one. Red one? Dead one. Small one. Small one. We'll take it. Number 12, boys. Yep. I don't care. It's it's done. Home. We're going home, boys. Take it Woo! to the hill. Woo! Yeah. Woo! Take it to the hill, boy. To the house. Woo! Woo! We just got done taking pictures. Dirtying up the boat extra, extra, extra. Packing the fish. Basket, man. Good old, that's a big basket of snouts. I'm going to take it to the house, boys. It's been a fun trip with these guys. Not the best trip ever, not the worst trip ever, but it's been fun. It has been very fun. So we'll see you guys at the dock. <sighs> guys, I'm sorry. You guys missed it. This might... I feel terrible. So we were coming in. We're... Coming in the South Pass, we see stuff busting on the rocks right here. Okay. And I got my 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 head GoPro on and I hit play, not knowing that it was uh dead. So you missed all of this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, boy, baby! Oh yep, it worked out great. The Lord the, the good Lord as it intend as, as the good Lord intended, you cannot leave right Louisiana top. without catching redfish. And we had some big giant bulls come in yeah. at the it's very no, end. Fine. Look how pretty picture? this guy is. It's the last one. Okay. Caught. So golden. You're not even in the sun. Oh, that's awesome. That's epic. I'm sorry, guys. I do feel bad. Well, we caught red things today. Red snapper, red bass. This be my favorite picture of all time. Yep, it might be. Yeah, boy! <laughs> yeah! Welcome to Louisiana. Yeah. Yeah, we got, oh, and it wasn't easy. We, uh, in this process, we broke a rod and we got broke off tw uh, twice there. And I got, we got broken off on the torso of 40 points. <laughs> bruisers i'm telling you we have a broken rod and two we got broken off twice <laughs> epic epic boys wow wow matt hold your left one out a little more there we go no hold the right one out more you gotta get that big one i can't hold any of them out more <laughs> <laughs> yeah My arms are tired <laughs> all right let's get these big boys on ice and head it to the house what a good way to end it, man. That's a great way to end a, uh, a uh, tough trip. There, uh, there is nothing, it feels so weird, but it feels so great killing these bulls here. <laughs> Boys, thank you so much for watching. That was such a fun trip with those guys. Um, all of the info for Sea Turf is going to be below. Uh, awesome, awesome people. Uh, really, really good product. And actually, in my next video, I'm gonna show you how someone that has never done it before can very easily uninstall and reinstall uh, the sea turf. So I'm gonna show you that at the end of next video. But for now, thank you so much for watching. I love y'all. I'll see y'all next time.